Before this video starts, I just want to point out that I now actually live stream daily on Twitch. I'm sure you guys all do have Twitch or do just watch some other streamers over there. So I thought I'd just let you guys know that I am now streaming every single day. So what I want you guys to do is to quickly go into the description of this video. I will link my channel right at the top where you guys can go and drop me a follow. It literally takes two seconds. If you guys are maybe on your phone right now, maybe you're on a computer, you can literally just load it up in a new tab and quickly just drop a follow. It's all much appreciated. And the content which you don't see on my YouTube channel, you will see over there live. So I just thought I'd quickly plug that. Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day, and if not, hopefully it'll be even better after what I have in store for you guys today. You did read the title right. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you all about a few custom resolutions you can actually use within Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2, which actually both increase FPS, as well as also reduce impact lag to your game, which will just allow your game to feel a lot smoother. You know, you guys can call me the CEO of FPS Boost from now on. I seem to be doing videos like this almost every month now. And I'm always just coming at you guys with the newest and best methods. You know, you can thank me later or just feel free to drop a like right now. Just, you know, as a thank you for me bringing this content to you and providing you with all these methods. You can also, you know, subscribe with post notifications turned on. Therefore, you never miss an upload just like this on the channel. I have a lot in store for you guys over the next few weeks. A ton of video ideas, daily uploads from now on. It's definitely something you will not want to miss out on, especially if you did click onto this video. But that is enough talking from me. Let's just hop straight into the video. As I did mention guys, I am not trying to ramble on any more than I have done already. I'm trying to keep this video as short and as simple as possible. So we are going to just jump right into the first custom resolution you all can use. And that's actually 1904 by 1071. I know it may sound crazy for some. And for any of you OG guys to my channel, any low supporters of myself, you've all heard it before. And for any of you who don't already know the benefits to using this resolution, let me just quickly explain. What this resolution actually does is in fact give you the same exact feeling as if you were to be using the old stretch resolution. And no guys it's not going to offer you any more fov to your game or even horizontal stretch surprising to some it's literally just like regular native resolution 1920 by 1080 at least in the way it looks but what makes this so good is the fact that it gives you a small amount of pixel drop but in a way which is almost unnoticeable to the eye unless you obviously pay super close detail to each and every texture the pixel drop this offers actually improves fps quite a bit despite how little the loss in pixels actually is trust me guys you'll actually be super impressed on how much better your game will feel using the resolution Frames are generally more stable and it's super clear as well. Also, using this resolution, I have noticed my game also feels a lot smoother, which is actually because it gives you such advantages of decreased input lag, therefore making your game feel a little more responsive and sensitive to input, which is honestly insane. I can't vouch this resolution any more than that, besides maybe throwing in the fact that your favorite pro players and streamers actually do use 1904 by 1071 as well. The likes of Tfu, Kamikaze, both use this resolution and I'm sure many others do as well. It's definitely slept on and if you generally do like playing on native this is a perfect balance between both that and reaping the benefits from maybe a resolution such as 1750 by 1080 also may i add that this is actually a custom resolution which does mean you guys will need to go and set up yourself within game user settings and also within your gpu control panel if you guys do not know how to do that i will link a video down below in the description where you guys can go check that out which will give you a tutorial on how to do that i'm sure many of you know how to do it anyway the next resolution i actually want to talk about is the bread and butter 1600 by 900. I'm sure you all know about this resolution, but I actually never use it. A lot of people tend to sway away from this resolution, but I'll never understand why. Its advantages are actually endless. Of course, still being a 16 by 9 as per ratio, therefore still just looking like a native resolution. Yet with benefits such as, again, slight pixel drop and an overall lower resolution. But just like 1904 by 1071, this does of course improve your FPS and especially make stacked end games, game modes such as arena, creative dome wars, and anything of that nature feels so much better. When using this resolution, your game will not actually look too much different, but there will be a noticeable blur and less attention to detail and depth within your game. But it's something that your eyes actually adjust to super easily, so it isn't too much of an issue whatsoever. I also felt for myself, as I do wear glasses, my eyes tend to get super strained after a few hours of gaming. This resolution does help soothe the eyes. It is great in that sense. Also, may I add, again, many of your favorite pros also do use this resolution. I know for certain, Ghost Bizzle does use this for competitive 
has done for the longest time now. If that doesn't tell you something, I don't know what will. And you know, overall, an increase in FPS is offered with this. So what's not to like? The last thing I actually want to discuss in this video is in fact not actually a custom resolution, but it's something additional you guys have probably always knew about yet never actually looked into or used to an advantage. But that is actually making valuable use of the 3D resolution feature within your game. If you are averaging anywhere below 75 FPS or maybe even 100, you should definitely use this feature to your benefit and lower your 3D resolution, maybe down to a number like 75 or 80%. Even lowering this by 10 can actually give such a huge difference to FPS alone. So maybe just that is fine and is a step in the right direction. What lowering your 3D resolution does, it's just like when you lower the quality on a YouTube video. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about when I say this. It's like going from a 1080p full HD video to maybe 480p. There is a huge difference and that I can't deny. Your game will of course not look as pleasant or appealing to the eye, but again, whatever boosts your FPS or performance is always worth it as long as the 3D resolution is not too low to a point where it will actually affect your gameplay and your skill level. You will only benefit from juicing them extra frames from your game and that is something that should never be looked upon. So again, if you are anywhere below 100 FPS, please, and I mean please use this feature and get used to it and you will not regret it and you can trust me on that. With that all being said, that's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully this video was fairly short. I'm not one of those YouTubers who will try and reach that 10 minute mark to basically just rinse more money from you guys. That's not what I like to do. So I do attempt to keep all my content as short and snappy as possible, at least from now on. But I do hope you guys all did enjoy the video and do hope this video helped some of you. If it did, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. If you have any questions whatsoever, again, the comments is the place to ask. If you got to this point in the video, I'm surely doing my job right. So dropping a like is the least you can do for myself. Remember, you can also subscribe, post notifications turned on if they're not already so that you never actually miss an upload just like this on my channel again guys i have started a twitch and when you guys are actually watching this video i'm probably live right now on twitch so top link in the description click onto my twitch channel drop me a follow i might be live so you can tune in and see what i'm getting up to and with that being said it's been your boy farfetch i love you guys and yeah peace